hello everyone welcome to fahad's tutorial once again let's solve another creative solutions from the chapter mole and this is about a basic chemistry so you see that in two jars there are 100 ml perchloric acid and 100 ml potassium hydroxide are there in figure a there are 10 gram perchloric acid and in figure b there are 10 gram potassium hydroxide are there so two different jars are there the first question is which solutions are more concentrated so we know that we need to find the molarity and we know that that this is molarity and to find this molarity we know the principle or the equation is w is equal s v m over 1 thousand and you know this v is the volume of the solution and should be in milliliter so this w means the mass of the solute s is a molarity v is the volume and m is the molecular mass of the solute so we can find the the solute which one is the more concentrated from the value of c s so you see that in figure a if we see that in figure a what is the data is given this v is 100 ml and then this is 10 gram is w so the w is 10 gram and you see that this is perchloric acid so you must know the molecular mass of hclo4 it should be hydrogen 1 chlorine is 35.5 plus oxygen is 16 times 4 so it would be altogether 100.5 so you have this data from figure a so you can find the value of s from the equation so s would be v m over w times one thousandths so you see that w is 10 times 1000 v is 100 and m is 100.5 so we can say 1 2 1 2 so 100 over it's 100 and this is 100.5 it will be less than 1 so it would be 100 divided by 100.5 which is 0.99 mole so 0.99 mole is the concentrations of this figure a so the molarity is 0.99 molar of figure a now you think in figure b in figure b what are the data is given the volume is same 100 ml and the ma the mass of the solute is same 100 gram but the molecular mass of potassium hydroxide would be different so potassium is 39 oxygen is 16 and hydrogen 1 so it would be hopefully uh, 40 and 56 okay so now this is s1 now think s2 would be w times 1000 over vm so w is 10 over thousands by 100 times 56 so now you think this should be 10 it would be 100 over 56 that would be 1.1.78 molar now you got the another concentration 1.78 molar so we can say that which solutions are more concentrated the solution the molarity of a is less than molarity of b so you can say this figure b or these solutions have more concentrations and the next question is analyze the which is limiting react and this is very common questions when you know that that something like that to find out the limiting reactant you must think the mass is given and you must know that the reaction should be done accordingly so you think that HClO4 is reacting with potassium hydroxide now 
if you think that the molecular mass of perchloric acid we just got 100.5 and you got 56 from this and from this so we see that 100.5 gram HClO4 is reacting with 56 gram potassium hydroxide so this is we got it from the reaction so your 10 gram 10 gram HClO4 is present in this jar so we can find that this is 56 uh, over times 10 over 100.5 so you got 560 divided by 100.5 and that is 5.57 gram so we can find that 10 gram perchloric acid will react with 5.57 gram potassium hydroxide but here 10 gram potassium hydroxide are present in figure b so in this jar more potassium hydroxide are there so you see that 10 gram perchloric acid will react with 5.57 gram potassium hydroxide so we know that hcl4 will end first so we can say that analyze which is the limiting reactant if solution a and solution b are mixed from the stem so we can say that hclo4 are the limiting reactant so hclo4 is limiting reactant according to the stem is given so you see this is very easy solutions and i'm i'm just giving this is the creative solution three in my previous video i have uploaded one two and this is number three and all the creative questions are similar types so i have explained how to think and this is a very a simple type of questions those who are watching this video I'm just requesting you to do all the mathematics from this chapter uh, with a good understanding of the things and this type of questions is very common so you know that from figure a and figure B how we use this equation and in case of understanding the react limiting reactant we must know the reaction first and we didn't think about the product i just think about the limiting reactant because this is the concept so i hope you understand in the next video i'm coming up with another uh, problem solutions of this chapter stay tuned with me and let me know that what is the demand thank you so very much see you on the next class